we're talking about same time, different place, how you make something like a webcast or a teleconference work as, as it were a face-to-face -face meeting. We, uh, after prioritizing face-to-face, -face, we, we grappled with that. We talked about the fact that there was a minimum technological requirement. You had to have access to audio, teleconference, Skype. You had to have a laptop. You had to have a video connection. Uh, you had to have somebody who understood, understood how to deploy that technology. We talked about um, the fact that you still needed to really, first of all, think of community organizations and community organizers who would be trained and who could actually deploy that and use it in the communities. We talked about why people participate, period. The issue is local, it's relevant, it's understandable, it's something they care about in some fashion. We talked about trying to address technological gap outs by, for example, grandchildren teaching uh, their grandparents how to use technology or bring them online. Again, enabling community organizations, communities to teach others how to, how to get engaged when this sort of te when this having to be in a different place is a requirement, where we want to connect across that geographic barrier. Uh, we also spoke about the fact that in the toolkit we need to like rank the prior the uh, the, le the importance of different technologies like WebEx or online meeting tools. What would be required to use them? We talked about the uh, need to either access free where that that it may be available or you know open source tools or sponsorship for you know a Skype account or an 800 number that would enable to, uh, this kind of dialogue to occur practically and technologically. We also we also talked about privacy uh, rules about collecting information and how you have to be mindful of that if you have an online sign up or you're collecting community names and from you know traditionally on paper, business cards, etc. Okay. Great.